always be saying, paint that thing. Well, he don't say that, but. The end of my hair literally already turning. Oh my God, let me hurry my behind. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Deandra and welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be so exciting. It's literally years in the making. Years in the making. Check the nails. Mm, Christmas, they are beyond cute. The first time that I'm doing any color and the color just so happens to be balls to the wall crazy. So I'm really excited. Also really nerve wracking because I've always wanted to dye my hair and I actually wanted to dye my hair this color, I wanna say six or seven years ago, honestly. Like ever since I was in high school and saw Andrea's Choice, that's what inspired me to get this color. I was like, I need it in my life. And now that I'm like older, I'm like, it would be such a good look for acting and everything. But also the reason that I kept my hair like this, like plain Jane is because I'm an actor and this lets me get so many roles so now I will be like in a more select diving pool but I don't think that's a bad thing. But I literally went to Andrea's Choice because that was a staple and I saw what color she got. I got the exact same one. It is what? Well my color is a little bit darker than this so I'm still hoping to get this. It's like a Kim Possible type of red and I got this little pack off of Amazon it comes with two little ear cuffs so I don't get my little my precious little ears all exposed to the elements it's so cute it literally looks like I'm going like skiing or something <laughs> like ski. okay anyway <laughs> and it came with a little bowl a little whisk for mixing I got this and this but I'm not sure what the difference is maybe this is if I want like a more direct part like maybe this one's more for roots and this one's like for the whole hair but i'm not sure we'll just try both of them and see which one we'll see which one feels right and go from there finally i got four of these little clippies to section off my hair got some gloves gotta protect this mani okay so that's everything that i got now i'm about to go ahead and unleash the beast so here's my hair, here's everything. It's not really stretched at all. I kind of just left it in like an updo ever since I like took out, I just had braids recently. So this is what we're looking at right now. like kind of around my hairline so I'm just gonna be using Vaseline today so I don't have any tang on my forehead Ooh, it's so bright orange that's crazy okay we're gonna mix her mix her mix her oh my gosh that's insane a good idea or a dumb idea who's to say oh my oh this is strong <laughs> oh that's a lick oh that's lick that's lick it's always so fun doing something that like you didn't think that you were gonna do because it's a little scary. Brad Mondo always be saying, paint that thing. Well, he don't say that, but he always tells people like, bro, you did not even put enough dye on your hair for it to be absorbed. And I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm putting a lot on my hair. Is the end of my hair literally already turning? Oh my God, let me hurry my behind up.
actually feel like I'm dying my hair. So I feel like in like 30 minutes, I'm gonna be kind of shook. Hopefully it even takes. Hopefully it even takes. If I can pull this off, I feel like anybody who literally wants to try to do their hair can pull it off because I wanted to do the Brad Mondo way, like go see a specialist. But people be tripping when it comes to curly hair. Like a service that would be a few hundred dollars is close to a thousand. All because curly hair, thickness, da 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 da. This was literally like, I have to count it out, but I know I did not even pay $50 for this. So, yeah, if, no, if this works, 10 out of 10, do it. We sit and wait 20 minutes, then apply the color to our roots and brows looked at it and it's still crazy dark looking so I don't know if when I wash it out that's when like the development happens and it's actually gonna be a lot lighter but I decided to keep it on for another five minutes so it's probably been on for like 30 40 hopefully the eyebrows die quick I thought that they would so I put them on like five minutes ago so the eyebrows will be dying for like 15 minutes it has developer in it so that kind of is like bleach. Ooh. So let's say at least I'm not bleaching my hair, but Loki <laughs> might be a little bit. So fresh out the shower, are we ready to see? One, two, three. Da -da -da -da. And Aww. this is what my hair is looking like. Y'all do not know stress like me trying to wash my hair. I'm literally looking at every piece like, eh, is it even dyed? But it looks like it lifted like one shade in the shower, but out here I'm not sure if you can see it but it's like it looks like a lot of like burgundy pieces which is cool but I think that I really need to see like how it dries to see where I go from here I'm definitely gonna have to redo the eyebrows probably because I had like my face moisturizer on and maybe like had a barrier because I literally don't see anything on my eyebrows Okay, everybody, what's going on? So it is about three and a half weeks later. The only thing that I did differently was that I did my hair as fast as possible so it can develop equally on all sides. And then I threw on this aluminum foil because I am not trying to dye my hair for a third time. I did goof a little and get, ooh, this on my jacket. But yeah, so I'm gonna hang out with this for like 20 minutes then come back, do my roots for the last like 10, 15 minutes and my eyebrows for the same time. It is like two months later and my roots have grown out. I feel like it is a good time for me to dye this one more time. I kind of fell in love with the auburn, like this dark color that it is. It goes really well with my skin. And I feel like it makes my skin look a lot more tan, which is perfect for the spring summertime. But today I am going to try to go the original ginger a little bit lighter. I think that I'll be able to achieve it because of how light my hair is now.
we ready for the results? I'm ready for the results. I'm so happy for the final color. Drum roll, please. watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you're getting ready to dye your hair any fun colors this spring or summer. If you want to see more of me during the week, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at it's Deandra O underscore O. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!